There's no mistaking the Google Pixel 8 Pro as anything other than Google's premium flagship phone. It's got the big screen, dedicated telephoto lens, and high-end look that helps it fit in with the best phones from other device makers. And now that the Pixel 8 costs more, it's got the premium price tag too. Now that Google's Pro phone starts at $1,000, does it still deliver good value? After some Pixel 8 Pro hands-on time, we can certainly make that case, thanks to all the improvements Google has introduced. From better cameras to more extensive use of AI, there's a lot to like about the Pixel 8 Pro. Plus, there's a brighter display and new Tensor G3 chip. Not everyone is going to find those changes to be worth the $100 premium Google is charging over the Pixel 7 Pro. But still, there are several reasons to consider before going out for the latest Pixel 8 lineup. First, the rear cameras. Updating any of the cameras on the Pixel 8 Pro would have been a step forward. Google updated all three of the rear cameras, which should help put the Pixel 8 Pro right in the mix of the best camera phone competition. The main rear camera on the Pixel 8 Pro still uses a 50 megapixel sensor, but there's a wider aperture aimed at improving low-light performance. The same thing goes with the telephoto lens, which also promises brighter shots. Finally, Google upgraded the ultra-wide lens, which went from a 12-megapixel sensor on the Pixel 7 Pro to a 48-megapixel shooter on the new phone. Even better, you can use the ultra-wide lens to take macro shots. The end result should be brighter, more detailed photos, with the output from the Pixel 8 Pro able to go up against the best shots that the iPhone 15 Pro Max and Galaxy S23 Ultra have to offer. Next, Pro AI features. The same AI-powered photo processing and editing improvements that are part of the Pixel 8 also come to the Pixel 8 Pro. We're talking about Magic Editor, where you can tweak lighting, shot composition, and other details about a photo to wind up with the perfect shot. Best Take lets you mix and match faces from different group shots so that your finished photo has everyone looking their best. An audio magic eraser promises to be great at removing unwanted sounds from the video footage you capture with your Pixel. Next, a new temperature sensor. Maybe you weren't crying out for this feature. The Pixel 8 Pro has an exclusive temperature sensor. And gimmicky though it may be right now, there's some potential for this sensor to be useful down the road. Right now, the temperature sensor can detect how hot and cold objects are, useful if you want to check on the temperature of foods, liquids, and the occasional surface, but potentially just a cool party trick for many users. However, Google is working with the US Food and Drug Administration to get the Pixel 8 Pro's sensor approved for taking the temperatures of people. That could be a very helpful feature, letting you do a quick temperature spot check on a child to see if they need to stay home from school with a fever. Next, a better Tensor chip. For the Tensor G3 powering the Pixel 8 Pro, Google upgraded the GPU and turned to the latest CPUs from ARM. Whether that closes the performance gap between Google's Tensor Silicon and chipsets, like the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 won't be known until we can run some benchmarks. But regardless of how that turns out, the improvements to this chipset's Tensor Processing Unit sound like they're worth the price of admission. According to Google, the Tensor G3's TPU can run more than double the number of machine learning models than the Tensor inside the Pixel 6, and it can do that on device. But it also enables some other unique features on the phone. These are some pretty impressive capabilities that would have been unthinkable not long ago, and the Tensor G3 should be able to pull them off without a sweat. Next, a brighter display. At 927 nits, the Pixel 7 Pro's 6.7-inch display offered decent brightness, but it fell far short of the results produced by comparably-sized phones like the Galaxy S23 Plus 1345 nits and iPhone 15 Pro Max 1550 nits when we broke out our light mirror. Google hopes to improve things by turning to a brighter panel for the Pixel 8 Pro. Specifically, Google's new phone features a Super Actua display, which promises quite a boost in brightness, 1600 nits for HDR brightness with a peak of 2400 nits. In practice, displays rarely reach those listed maximums. But if the Super Actua display gets anywhere in the same ballpark as those numbers, it's going to outshine phones from Apple and Samsung by some measure. But still, there is $100 price difference and you are getting less storage option only. There's a lot to like about the Pixel 8 Pro, particularly when it comes to the phone's cameras. The biggest sticking points with the phone at this point are its $999 cost and the uncertainty over how long it will last on a charge. Pixel 8 Pro pre-order deals can help address the formal, while our testing should fill in a lot of the details about just how good this phone can be. So if you are going to buy the latest Pixel 8 lineup, you should think about these features before buying. Are these features really beneficial to you? Share your valuable thoughts below in the comment section, and for more updates, you can check out our channel. See you in the next one. Peace out.